y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video I'm giving you six healthy breakfast recipes to get your day started off right. Of course you don't have to eat these for breakfast but they're breakfast themed recipes and no we're not including oatmeal or overnight oats or even my usual smoothie. There is a smoothie in here but it's a fun one and it's delicious. But before we get into the recipes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a recipe or a video from me. And drop a like on this video, it helps so, so much. And leave me a comment down below which one of these recipes is your favorite. Also remember you can find the full recipe PDFs linked down below. So make sure to go check that out, download the recipes if you want to make one of these. Now, let's get into the recipes. So the first recipe I'm sharing with you guys today is a chocolate milkshake smoothie. This smoothie has bananas, dates, flaxseed, cocoa powder, oat milk, and I added a little bit of chocolate granola butter I get at the farmer's market from Jake and Juby's. Now you don't have to add a chocolate nut butter, but if you'd like, it's definitely very good in this recipe. The granola butter is made out of multiple different kinds of nuts and seeds and cocoa powder and sweetened with dates, which is awesome. This is a great treat to mix up your usual morning smoothie or even a dessert. And the second recipe I'm gonna share with you guys today is my pancake recipe now. I know everybody has their favorite banana oat pancake recipe. This one's mine and works the best for me. It's got banana and oat flour and oat milk, a pinch of salt and baking powder. I also usually add vanilla extract, but I was out on this day, so I just put some vanilla powder if you use vanilla powder, use half as much because it is very strong. The baking powder gives the pancakes a little bit of rise to make them nice and fluffy and I just cook them on this nonstick griddle with no oil at all. and they came out perfect. I served this with some chopped bananas and strawberries and maple syrup and I put a little bit too much maple syrup, but that's okay. The third recipe I'm gonna show you guys today is French toast. I made this French toast with Ezekiel bread, but you can use whatever kind of bread you'd like. Thicker slices is better. These were quite thin, but it still worked out. For the wet mix, I used oatmeal, chia seeds, vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, agave, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Whisk it together and set it aside until it gets nice and thick. Then I just dip my bread and cooked it on the same nonstick griddle. This thing is awesome. No oil needed. Oh, 
Oh, and look at that steaming delicious. Again, I topped the French toast with chopped up strawberries and bananas and maple syrup. The fourth recipe I'm going to show you guys today is oatmeal breakfast cookies. These are really awesome to make on the weekends for a grab and go breakfast during the week. I love to grab one of these cookies and have some fruit with it for a very quick, easy breakfast during the week. This recipe has a couple of flax eggs, so flax seed and water, bananas, maple syrup, peanut butter. So the peanut butter in this recipe does make it a little bit higher fat, but I think it is still delicious and healthy if you have just one or two with some fruit for breakfast. You can really use any kind of nut butter you'd like though. Then it's got some oats, baking powder, and baking soda for the cookie dough. You can add dried fruit or nuts. I added some chocolate chips because it was Sunday morning and chocolate chip peanut butter breakfast cookies sounded amazing. I only added a little bit though, not too much. Just enough. Definitely swap the chocolate chips for a fruit if you want to make it a little healthier, but I think a few chocolate chips is fine. bake them up and store them in the fridge so they're ready to grab and go. The fifth recipe I'm showing you guys today is hash browns. Usually I would make these hash browns with fresh potatoes, but I didn't have any. I did, however, have this bag of frozen hash browns, so I dumped it into my air fryer. I found that the frozen hash browns don't stick like fresh hash browns, which is really cool. There's no oil in the frozen hash browns and I don't need to spray the pan when cooking them either. And they turned into this really awesome crispy potato disc. I talked to my partner about making a potato pizza out of this, maybe throwing a bag of hash browns in there with some toppings and then turning the air fryer on and see if we get a potato pizza. The sixth and final recipe I'm gonna show you guys today is a potato hash. So we started out with some sweet recipes and we're ending with some savory ones. I cut a couple of potatoes into home fry size, so into small cubes. Threw them in my little basket and into my Instapot. Where I steam them for just a couple minutes to get them cooked and soft and then one thing I really love about this Instapot is I just poured out the water, left the potatoes in their basket, switched the lid for the air fryer lid, and air fried them. Less dishes, because I got to leave the potatoes right in place. While the potatoes are cooking, I sauteed up some onions in veggie stock until they were translucent. and then added bell peppers and mushrooms. To make this breakfast even heartier, you could add some black beans to it. I was going to do that and I forgot, but that's okay. I still have leftover ingredients, so I think I'm gonna make it again this weekend with the black beans. Cooked down the mushrooms just a little bit and then added a big handful of kale with garlic powder and salt and pepper. Pop 
pop the lid on it to steam the kale down. Once the potatoes were done, I added them to the rest of the veggies. And now you don't have to mix it all together. The potatoes stay crispier if you don't, but I wanted it all mixed together. And I served it with a little bit of sriracha on top because your girl likes hot sauce. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. Let me know if you make them, how they turn out. I would love to know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You're not going to want to miss the recipes that I am posting over on TikTok. I'm also doing what I eat in a days over there. So lots of food inspiration. So make sure to drop a follow over there. All of it linked down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And drop a like on this video if you liked it. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below with your favorite recipe and if you make one of them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all.